OK, so next news story. This one's quite bizarre. Obviously, Black Myth Wukong released uh, exclusively in console land on PlayStation 5. There have been various stories going around as to why it hasn't appeared on Xbox Series consoles. And um, there was kind of like an oblique statement from Microsoft given to, I think, Jez Gordon of Windows Central stating that, well, kind of implying heavily that a deal had been made between Sony and Game Science. Um, and that is one of the reasons why it was locked out on Xbox consoles. Then a competing story emerged online, which I got to admit, I looked at it and didn't see any creditable sources, but it seemed to spread regardless, suggesting that, <laughs> um, I'm sort of chuckling just to describe this one, uh, saying that the Xbox version had been uh, delayed indefinitely because of a memory leak, uh, which is basically a bug in the code which can be addressed. And if Game Science couldn't do that, then Microsoft has the advanced technology group on hand to help out with issues exactly like this. And there's the concepts that, you know, who would actually leak this because it could only be Microsoft who wouldn't leak it, or it could be Game Science who, you know, doesn't sound right. There has been talk about optimization problems for Xbox, which I think has, um, bearing in mind, they need to make a Series S version of an extremely demanding game, probably has more credibility to it. Um, but John, I'm going to go to you on this one to see whether you can provide any insights on this, because, um, well, bottom line is the game launched on PlayStation 5 and it didn't launch on Xbox. And we're still not clear as to when an Xbox version is going to appear and why it was delayed. Yeah, so I feel like there's probably kernels of truth buried within all of these stories, uh, although I don't think memory leak is specifically valid by any means. Uh, it's very likely true that they're struggling to get this game running on Series S. Uh, as we know, this is Unreal Engine 5 version 5.0, I believe. Like, yeah. This is like original Unreal Engine 5, which is extremely heavy. Uh, and things, there's been a lot of performance improvements in then, but obviously when you're making a game, you got to lock down your version of Unreal at some point, right? During the development process, you can't keep integrating the changes into the project. So I get why that happens, but still getting this on Series S is probably a big deal. I do not believe that there's any sort of necessarily marketing deal per se with Sony, like where it's like, oh, we are spending X amount of money to keep this game off Xbox. I highly doubt that that's the case, but what I would imagine is that there, there could be more of a, uh, mm, it, it, I've gathered that Sony provided and Microsoft is doing the same, by the way, uh, resources to help get this game working on PlayStation five. And there's a very real possibility that through those relations that they may have, uh, come to an agreement regarding release timings and such with the console versions that perhaps you know, it's like, what if they said, oh, well, we'll release this game. We'll schedule our release date for when all versions are ready versus, well, we have PC and PS5 ready. Uh, we can launch now and then just get Xbox later kind of thing, right? Because if this was actually like a real marketing deal, you don't think you would see game science or anyone going around saying, oh, yeah, it's coming to Xbox. Oh, yeah. You know, like that just there's been no push from Sony's side on that front, really. Like it doesn't it doesn't work as a typical like money hat kind of situation so i right. think it's probably just there's there's probably some relationship stuff going on in there so there probably is something in place but not in that traditional method or the traditional model and then on top of that they probably very realistically are having troubles bringing into series s and maybe even series x because let's face it clearly they had troubles bringing it to ps5 <laughs> it does not work well on the ps5 uh, and Unreal has traditionally based on, I mean, I think in our testing, we've seen Unreal games typically favor PS5. I guess it's kind of split, though. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it, it varies. It can vary. From it varies time. from project to project. But either way, uh, getting this on any console is a big task. And something like Series S is very likely pr proving extremely challenging given the demands of this. So much so, Rich, that you actually went and did some tests to sort of yeah. try to prove this out, didn't you? Yeah, I mean, basically, um, we have our Frankenstein's PC, as Alex likes to call it, which is the <laughs> Xbox Series X CPU paired with a GPU that's very close to the PlayStation 5. Um, and let's start with that, actually, because um, the introduction to Black Myth Wukong 
It's extraordinarily challenging. Um, so what I've done here is to uh, stack up the PlayStation 5 in balance mode, which has a 45 FPS cap for some reason, <laughs> um, with a, a PC that's configured with pretty much the same settings, which is effectively the high setting, but it does have like medium slash low textures on PS5 for some reason. Anyway, you can see here that this is an extremely demanding game and you can see that the PC version basically runs about the same or anything from up to 10% slower on the PC, which is not usual. Typically the 6700, which is very close to the PS5 GPU, has a higher clock, so it runs about 5% faster usually. But here it's like 5 to 10% slower, depending yeah. on the content. Um, so you can see here that um, you've got an idea here of basically uh, PC equivalent versus PlayStation 5. Uh, so the question is, is there an Xbox Series S equivalent GPU in the PC space? And the answer, surprisingly enough, is yes. Uh, Radeon RX 5500 XT, 22 compute units versus Series S at 20 compute units and um, similar memory bandwidth. Just reduce the clocks on the 5500 XT to 1420 megahertz and you're at four teraflops, right? And um, this is what happens. So um, first of all, I'm going to compare the um, 5500 XT in subscaling from 720p uh, to 1080p in medium settings. And we're comparing it against um, the PlayStation 5 running at high settings at 4K reconstructing from 1080p. Um, and yeah, you can see that there, and this is with a 30 FPS cap, which I think is reasonable for Series S, right? Yeah. And um, yeah, this is the problem that you have. To begin with, everything kind of looks, looks fine. Um, but then it isn't. Basically, any kind of uh, effects that requires a huge amount of bandwidth, seemingly, the visual effects causes problems. And Black Myth Wukong does have a lot of visual effects there. So, you know, overall, looking at, um, at the benchmark here, it's, it's not looking great, even for a um, significantly reduced paired back version of, of Black with Wukong. Um, also, I've got some footage here of the, the wolf boss fight, which Alex used extensively in uh, the video mm. that you did with him, Oliver. And um, I'm using that kind of fiery power as well. So there's lots of visual effects happening there. It, it's okay. It kind of just about holds up. So, you know, bearing in mind that we saw that differential between PC and PS5 with very similar components, I'd say that it's doable it's it's viable but it's gonna you know you're not gonna have a performance mode i don't think unless they really aggressively hammer resolution and effects um and well you know i think it it, it could struggle even there and the, the elephant in the room here is that running it on the pc well i've got an eight gigabyte gpu mm -hmm. and i've got mm. 16 gigs of memory whereas the series s has got um you know 10 gigs memory total some of which yeah. is occupied so, and you know, in our chats with Unreal Engine developers and Series S, especially with 5.0, the problem has been memory. Yep. So I can fully believe that there is um, a developmental challenge in making Black Myth Wukong run well on Xbox Series S, but I don't think it's completely out of the question that it can be done. I just think it's going to be pretty aggressively compromised compared to the other versions of the game. Um, I don't know, Oliver, you've spent a lot of time with this. What, what do you reckon? It could definitely be pretty cut back. I'd, I'd also look towards the PC settings here because I know that um, game science is not eager to decrease those underlying visual settings too much, it seems like, because the PS5, from what we have tested, is basically high across the board except for textures. But, you know, you can strip out settings pretty hard. You can strip out yeah. the lumen lighting completely. They have a fallback for GI, they have a fallback for reflections, you can just strip it out completely. They do have some ability to scale the game. I mean, they could just murder texture resolution. Like, I think the question- <laughs> well, Even more? <laughs> even more, yeah, it's not, not ideal. I think to me, the qu question is really, could they ship a good Series S version? I think that's tough. It's, yes. also, it's also a question of like the technical, um, not technical ability, but just kind of technical familiarity with these systems, because clearly they're very talented people. But like when you look at the PS5 version, the real surprise to me has been apparently this supposed um, Sony involvement with that porting process, 
Like, why is Sony letting them ship a game or advising them or allowing them to ship a game at 45 FPS without VRR and, and 120 hertz support with LFC on, on PlayStation 5? That seems like something where if they're providing assistance, they should at least counsel them mm -hmm. very strongly against that, right? Why are you shipping uh, one of your headline modes with, for, with, with, with frame shit? I mean, some of these questions are still a little bit befuddling to me. Maybe they just need a bit, bit more assistance from Microsoft in, in terms of getting those uh, settings calibrated well as well for a Series S type console, because I, I think they might not have the, quite the right priorities when it comes to tackling consoles and compromising the visuals for a console platform. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I think there's a lot of competing stories out there as to why it's not happening. Um, there's probably a kernel of truth in, in some of them, but apart from the memory leak, I think. <laughs> I'm curious though, from the nuts. perspective of Xbox fans, how many people would be okay with them essentially shipping a very subpar Series S version just to get the game out on Xbox? Where you're like, okay, it runs okay on Series X, but we can't get Series S to run well. It's either don't release the game or we release a bad Series S version. <laughs> what, what would you guys what would you guys say to that uh, i think people are expecting to have um features limited on series s because it's a lower performing machine right mm -hmm. um the question is how low can they go um and you know 1080p upscale from 720p on medium settings maybe they would aggressively cut resolution still further make it dynamic and they could probably get their medium settings isn't that bad but obviously there are key cutbacks compared to um, the visual standard set by the PlayStation 5. I think people are okay with compromises because they just you know there's a lot of people out there who aren't obsessed with right. you know, Lumen who just want to play the game. Uh, the question is whether the fallbacks are actually good enough I guess. Yeah I'd also think uh, it could just be a question of reducing the quality of some of those key effects like maybe, mm -hmm. the, maybe you just get a furless <laughs> first boss <laughs> oh, man, that shaved version yeah maybe they just really de destroy the resolution of some of the volumetric effects in the game that are so heavy like you say in that opening sequence maybe just kind of like yeah. strategic cuts where the game is at its most expansive in terms of that frame time budget maybe that gets you there without actually needing to to kill off like lumen gi which i think right. is a pretty critical part of the visual makeup mm. but like i mean just as a person who might review this at some point potentially yeah, if the Series S version is bad, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit them for that, <laughs> regardless of how difficult the time they may have had. I mean, I think that there are good Series S versions and there are bad ones, and certainly if they cut mm. out Lumen GI, that would indicate a game to me that's mm. starting to not really look like Black Myth Wukong is supposed to look like. I suspect, based on mm -hmm, the PC mm -hmm. version. So yeah, I mean, that would be a disappointment. I think they should delay it until they can get all formats on Xbox into a reasonable state. But yeah, I mean, it could yeah. be a pretty tough path for them, like you said. Uh, any final words there, John? I mean, you know, let's just solve this memory leak. Everything will be fine. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I hope they can pull this off because, it, you know, I actually find this kind of stuff very fascinating when you take a game that's pretty cutting edge and try to cram it into a low-end hardware. This is, yeah. in a way, kind of similar to the Switch problem. Right? And I love that kind of stuff where developers have to make choices and decisions and and adopt certain techniques to get something that feels like a rough facsimile of the original onto much less powerful hardware. So I hope they can do it, and I hope that they prioritize the right things as well. And I think getting right. the frame rate to at least be pretty stable is going to be super key. And I feel like people will be more forgiving, like you say, of visual cutbacks on this platform because it is kind of expected. Uh, as long as it runs smooth. But hey, if they can find a way to make it look close enough and run okay, then that would be awesome.